Do you have a vision? Mbuza, olina okolesebwa. Was it put to a standstill? Okolesebwa ko kwatekebwa kukomo. Was it stopped somewhere? Okolesebwa ko kuina we kwa koma. Was it buried somewhere? Okolesebwa ko kuina we kwazikibwa. The Lord Jesus Christ. Mukama wa Yesu Kristo is the light. Yegwe musana. Say oh Lord Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus. The light of the world. The light of the world. Shine into my life. Shine into my life. I remind you the house of God we are building. It is a blessing. Don't worry. It will all come to pause. Those who have been contributing. And those who are still contributing. I stretch my hand in prayer. Oh Lord Jesus Christ. Multiply them. Locate them whichever place they are. Multiply them. Bless them, promote them to another level, spiritually, physically, and financially. To those who are sending packages, don't worry, it will all come to post. The Lord knows this is the house of God we're building. And I promise you that I'll soon show you how far we have gone. For those who are in Kampala, pass by and see what the Lord is doing. What is using us? You'll be grateful. I know you'll be grateful. But to the rest of the world, viewers all over the world, we are about to let you know how far we have gone. Remember, we are now at the times of cement. That cement, big or more, little or small, you are contributing. You may think that you are building the house of God, but you are planting a blessing or you are sowing a seed in your life. Remember, faith is not complete. It is still lacking until it is acted. I'm reading the book of James. James chapter 2. Verse 18. But someone will say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith without your works. And I will show you my faith by my works. You believe that there is one God. You do well, even the demons believe and tremble. But do you want to know, O foolish man, that faith without works is dead? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered Isaac his son on the altar? Do you see that faith was working together with his works? And by works, faith was made perfect. And the scripture was fulfilled, which says, Abraham believed God and was accounted to him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. You see then that a man is justified by works and not by faith only. Faith still stand lacking until works appear. So your faith and your works of faith put together to work out something for you. So we are building this magnificent house of God. We honor him, we love him and we are ready to offer the best of us and show to him that we love him. We really want to offer the best. Make it the best. You come to the house of God and say yes. It is even better than my home. God is better than you. So the house of God should look better than your home. 
This is where you get your blessing from. Munyumba ya katonda muno mufunira mikisa. This is where you go find. Wana woyimira wamugulumiza. Should be better than any other house. E nyumba ya katonda nete ko kusinga nyumba ndala yo na. So join hands with us. Kale mtu egatte ko. And make the house of God better than your house. Oro, nawe kenyinyo ofule nyumba ya katonda ebenge singa enyumba yo. To God be the glory. E chitiwa chideli katonda. To God be the glory. E chitiwa chideli katonda. Those who want to buy cement, we said that we are going to bring 25 bags. 25 bags in Kenya shillings, it is 25,000. In Uganda money, it is 750,000. In uh, US money, Musente za dollar. It is two hundred and fifty dollars. Ziba dollar, bibiri mwa tano. Those who can say I bring five today. Abaga mantin so bolo kule chobu sawo mutano walero. Next week I bring ten. Week ya jande te yoku. Until when they are twenty five. O kutu sango wese zobu sawo bibiri mutano. Then we shall give you the card. O tuleka tu kuwe cardi. Testimony card. Testimony cardi. Remember in the package. Mujukire nti mujitereke. We have special hanky. Tulina obutamba lo wenja ulo. And many have received them. Eraba anji babu funye. And they don't know how to use them. Ate langa volu ganda wano tebama nyingeli ya koze sabutamba ala muno. It is so simple. Changu nyo. Because the Acts of Apostles. Kubanga ebi kolobi haba tumi. 1911. Kumi na muenda olinyore kumi na ulumu. Now God worked and used of miracles by the hands of Paul. So that even handkerchiefs or aprons were brought from his body to the sick, and the diseases left them, and the evil spirits went out of them. So this hanky, once you find it in your package, put it on the sick person. The sickness will go. Put it to the poor person. That poverty will leave him. Put it to the people in agony. In the reality that agony will leave the person. These are faith assistants. Let's see what 1911 says of Acts of Apostles in action. When the sick were brought, what really happened when Kakande placed the same hanky on the sick? To go be the glory. You can do the same. Receive the hanky, do it. But it's lady immaculate in a lot of pain. Remember, she was operated due to a ruptured ectopic pregnancy. With him, the new man. Na ye, omutwa no muja. In him. Munda mu ye. Everything is possible. Ebi intu biya nabi soboka. To those who believe in God. Ebi haba haba kiri visa katonda. Right now, the man of God is laying the blessed hanky upon Lady Immaculate. Muka sena kanom sedi akson da tada katambala kom kisa kulturo amchala Immaculate. Puli ramponye. I feel I'm healed. Clap for Jesus. Muka vira yesu mungala yo. Yemuka mchala Immaculate. Glory be to Jesus. Because of severe body pain and weakness all resulting from diabetes.
greater glory. This lady cannot walk or stand without support. Because of severe pain in the lower back. Due to lumbar straightening. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the wonderful healing of Lady Immaculate. She's now getting up in Jesus' name. She's rising up by herself. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Why are you wondering? Why are you wondering? Man of God, I've had a lot of pain. When you put this hanky upon me, I felt the pain getting out of my back. Next is Lady Kagoya Monica. This lady has difficulty in walking, sitting, and bending, and even turning herself. Because of severe pain in the back for 16 years. For which the doctors gave her corset for support. Watch the agony she has. And she's being supported to get up. The pain is so much. In the back. Okay, take her back. Kale muse wo wansi. That is Lady Kagoya Monica. Oh, yeah, Michala Kagoya Monica. Who has suffered this severe back ache for 16 years? Due to disc prolapse. I have a lot of pain in my back. For how long? Kumala banga chi. Miyaka kumina mukaga. For 16 years. In him, Christ Jesus. Oh, yeah, Christ Jesus. Are all possibilities. Now the man of God is laying the blessed hanky upon Lady Monica. What are you waiting from down there? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That is Lady Monica. She's removing the corset. And she's rising up. friends and partners of the Kakanda Ministries who would wish to send their contribution, please go to our website www.kakandaministries.org and click the donate button. Please choose the payment method of your choice. It can be by mobile money, it can be by credit card, and it can be by bank transfer. You will then go to the purpose of donation. For this particular special package, choose the option that reads the Kakanda Ministries Charge Construction. Click Next and follow the payment procedures. And for all our friends and partners who may not access our website, please use the Kakanda Ministries USSD code in Uganda that reads star 284 star 52 hash and choose option number three. This reads the Kakanda Ministries Church Construction. Press send and follow the payment procedures. For any inquiries, please contact us using the numbers on your screen. And you can send us an email to the Kakanda Ministries at gmail.com.